In this video, we'll compare banks and building societies to help you understand their differences. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on this topic. Banks are for profit institutions owned by shareholders. They aim to generate profits to distribute among these shareholders. Building societies, on the other hand, are owned by their members. They operate to benefit these members, not external shareholders. Banks offer a wide range of financial services. These include checking and savings accounts, loans, credit cards, and investment services. Building societies traditionally focus on mortgages and savings accounts. However, many now offer a broader range of services like banks. Banks are generally more significant and more widespread. They often have more branches and atoms, which can be more convenient for customers. Building societies are often smaller and more localized, but they are known for providing more personalized service. The government regulates banks and the FDIC protects depositors. If a bank fails, your money is insured up to a certain amount. Building societies are also regulated and offer similar protections for your money. The Financial Services Compensation Scheme covers them. Banks often have more advanced technology and digital services. This includes mobile banking, online banking, and digital payment options. Building societies while improving digital offerings may not be as technologically advanced as banks. When it comes to customer satisfaction, building societies often score higher. They are known for their customer service and member focus. Banks, while they can offer good customer service, may score lower due to their larger size and focus on profits. Interest rates can vary between banks and building societies. Banks may offer lower interest rates on savings accounts and higher rates on loans. Since they are member-owned, building societies often offer higher interest rates on savings and lower rates on loans. Both banks and building societies have their pros and cons. Your choice will depend on your personal needs, preferences and values. Remember, it's essential to research and consider all options before deciding. Don't hesitate to ask questions and seek advice. As we conclude this comparison, it's clear that banks and building societies have unique offerings. It's all about finding what works best for you. Thank you for watching this video on Banks V's Building Societies. We hope it has been informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue producing content like this.